Hello, my name is Mark with Innova, and I'm going to introduce you to the full line of OBD2 diagnostic and scan tools. So if you have no mechanical experience at all, and you want to know why your check engine light is on, or even a weekend DIYer, or even the professional, Innova has a correct tool for you. So what we have here is the Innova 3030 entry-level code reader. Now that we have the tool, we need to find out where we need to plug this in. All the ANOVA tools are OBD2 compliant for the model years 1996 and newer. To use our tool, the first thing you're going to want to do is locate your data link connector or DLC. Usually it's located near the driver near his feet and knees. If you cannot find this, you can go to ANOVA.com and punch in year, make and model under the DLC locator. Now that we found our DLC, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our ignition to the on position without starting our vehicle. And now we're going to plug in our connector and it should start reading immediately. What's nice about the Innova tool is this nice face here. It also gives us 25 bits of vital information on how our car is running and performing. Right now, we have a P0420. We can refer to our manual and find out exactly what that code means. If you're uncomfortable using a manual, you can go to ANOVA.com, punch in make and this code, and it'll give you the description of what this code means. So let's talk about some of the icons ANOVA puts on all their diagnostic and scan tools. Upper left corner right here shows whether or not we're connected to our data link properly and or to our PC. All ANOVA tools are 2010 compliant for heavy duty and diesel vehicles. There's actually 15 emission monitors right here, perfect for viewing. These monitors are going to come in one of three stages. They're going to be solid, flashing, or blank. Blank means it just doesn't exist in the vehicle. Flashing means it's still going through the system, collecting the information. Solid means it's already went through its test and everything is great. Next is the mill, malfunction indicator lamp. This is very important because a lot of times people can cut this. This actually shows us that the light is on and working. So the next set of icons, pending. This means the tool hasn't scanned it completely yet. Permanent, it's already scanned through. Next is gonna be which code set off our freeze frame data. Our next set of icons shows us how many codes were set and the sequence in which they were set. This is a great feature on all the ANOVA tools. What we have here is an emission status, green, yellow and red. 30 states are OBD2 based standard for their emission testing. Green means you're good. Everything on your emission test is going to be fine. Yellow means you may have a problem and you may not pass your emissions. Red, this definitely means that you're not going to pass your emissions test. This is a patented feature. You're not going to find this on any other tool. It comes on the Innova tools at absolutely no extra charge. So let's go ahead and talk about the next model which is the ANOVA 3040 scan tool. It actually has a larger face, and it comes with freeze frame data, live data, and it also has the definition of the codes so you don't have to look them up in your manual or internet. With all diagnostic tools, it gives us a starting point of what to check for. So what we have here is a code P0420, and it's generic, meaning this could be the same on a lot of different vehicles. And what the code says, is catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. That's where we need to look at. Now that tells me from my experience that this could be an intake leak, exhaust leak, it could even be an O2 sensor or maybe even a costly repair like a catalytic converter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to freeze frame. When this code appeared it's going to give me a picture of what was going on at that particular moment. What we can do is we can scroll our freeze frame and look for something that's out of place. Well, here's one that tells me that we were actually going at an RPM of 1822. So this means the vehicle wasn't actually idling. We were actually driving. Now that we looked at our freeze frame data, let's go ahead and look at our live data. The difference is freeze frame is like a snapshot. Live data is like a video. We're looking at exactly what's going on with our vehicle while it's running. And it's so easy. You don't have to scroll through a whole bunch of menus. You can just push the green button and live data comes up. What's nice about live data is we can go back after our repair 
and check it to see if our numbers improved. If our service engine light goes off, we've definitely made the right repair. Let's take a look at Innova's best seller. This is a 3100, approaching almost 1 million units sold. This thing has a lot of great features. It's updatable and upgradable on the internet. So if there's some software changes, or five years from now, the new models are added, all for free. Hook it up to the internet, go to innova.com, right there, plug it in, done deal. What's nice about this unit is you can actually disconnect it from your vehicle. You're able to take this unit up to your desk, review your freeze frame data, and study it to find out a solution for the problem of your vehicle. With all Innova tools, what's really nice is it also comes with repair solution software. This allows you to get on the internet and print free of charge what is written on the screen. For an additional cost, you can actually get the information of what the most likely repair is. So let me just show you how simple this is to use. On the bottom of our unit, there's a USB port. We're gonna connect our cable supplied, hook it up to our computer. Now, let's go to the website and print up a repair solutions report. So let's just take a look. At the top, we have the vehicle make and VIN number. Below that, we're gonna have the DTC information. This is our problem code. On our next page, it's gonna give us some definitions of what to look for here. On our next page, it's gonna give us the freeze frame information. This is the same that was on the unit. And then, it's gonna show our emissions monitors. Some are completed, some are not supported. Gives us that information. And then, what I've done is I actually paid the extra money. I want to see how accurate I really am here. And I got most likely fix. And it says I need an O2 sensor right on. And it'll also tell me TSPs and if there was any recalls on this vehicle. It also tells me the tools and required procedures. Let's go ahead and look at the 3120. This has a lot more enhanced data features than the 3100. This actually has more data trouble codes that you can retrieve to give your repairs a much easier solution. Not only is this a great tool for OBD2, which is 1996 and newer vehicles, it's also good for OBD1, 1981 through 1995, meaning you get 30 years worth of vehicles sold in North America. It comes with adapters for the most popular makes and models, GM, Ford, Chrysler, and the most popular, Toyota and Lexus all in one diagnostic tool. Let's go ahead and diagnose an OBD-1 system using the Lexus Toyota adapter. With the OBD-2 vehicles, the data link connector is located on the inside of the compartment. On OBD-1, it's located in the engine compartment. So let's just go ahead, remove our cover, install our adapter, make sure we have a good connection. So let's just go ahead and check out our codes here. It says we have one of three. Our first one, DTC 14, ignition, no signal. Let's just go ahead. There's our second one, DTC 34. It says turbocharger, wastegate pressure, too high. Let's see what our third one is, fuel pump control signal. Well, obviously, it looks like we have something to do with the fuel and turbocharger on this system. So that's where we're going to start our repairs. So there you have it, no magic involved. It pulls codes for OBD2 and OBD1 vehicles. Let's go ahead and look at the 3130. This has live data streaming and modes one through nine. And if you're a professional, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This saves you time and money. The Innova Professional Series from 3120 up also provides you with PC software that can track your customer's vehicle maintenance records. It also allows you to put your own name on there and your customer's name. And you can give them a copy to see exactly what's going on with their vehicle and track through the years what maintenance has been done on that particular vehicle. Now we just talked about the 3120 with OBD1 and OBD2 and the enhanced features of the 3130. If you want to combine those two features into one unit, the 3140 is for you. This gives you the capability of OBD1, OBD2, and live data. The 3150 is a great tool for professionals. Not only does it cover OBD2, it also covers the most popular ABS systems for Ford, GM, Chrysler, Toyota, and Lexus, all in one unit. 
Now if you want something a little more advanced with live data and a backlit screen, the 3160 is for you. Not only does it cover OBD2 live data and ABS brakes for the most popular models, it also comes with a little handy case to keep it protected for many years to come. What's nice about the full line of Anova's tools is that with the press of a button, we can erase the codes and the monitors. It's going to want us to confirm. After we reset our codes and monitors, what we can do is we can leave the unit plugged in and drive around. When we get back, we can actually check to see if the codes come back and which monitors have been tripped. So if our check engine light comes back on, we know we haven't solved our problem with our vehicle. So what we're going to do is go back and scan again, diagnose again, and solve our problem. So if you've never turned a wrench in your life or you're a professional mechanic, Anova has a full line of diagnostic tools for you. And I hope you have as much fun with your new Anova scan tool and diagnostic tools as I have today.